you swear in vain, unlike the cretins in his superstitious village. I don't believe in the existence of God or the devil. That scar on your face? It's the longest one I've ever seen. A gift from battle from a soldier of that usurper Don Juan of Portugal. He was taken prisoner. I recognized him and tortured him savagely until death. Uh, I owe him my current vocation. Are you going to torture me? Yes, I am. They'll ask questions you have no answer for. Like all prisoners, you'll hang on to a vain hope of survival. It'll take you hours to confess. With a little bit of luck, I'll get to use all my instruments on you.
Don't be afraid, Don Miguel. As Satan's son, you'd better get used to all kinds of creatures, even my good Ursus. Now we must leave. No. I need you to answer some questions first. Only one. The rooster is about to crow. Who are you? My name is Gines de Oduña, and I belong to the order of minor monks of St. Francis. You're satisfied? No, not yet. Why are you helping me? I seek for knowledge, Miguel. Your gift for languages is the key I need. Come here, I beg you. I haven't saved your life. I've granted you a new one, and I beg you, make good use of it. I... I'm sorry. I think I owe you an apology, don't I? Your only duty is to mount that horse right now, or all three of us will perish. My name is John Yesterday. Yours too. Look at your left hand. If you have a scar like this one, then you've lost your memory. So let me bring you up to date. You are more than 500 years old. In 1501, the priest Gines de Orduña made you go through an alchemic transmutation, which makes you come back to life again each time you die. But when you resurrect, your body returns to the age and state that it was in when you first died but you lose your memory. Thus, the email and this video. Three years ago, your girlfriend Pauline was transmuted too. When she dies, she comes back to life just like you, but with an advantage. She doesn't lose her memory. Look for her. Start here. In the meantime, if you want to know more about your past, visit this page. Friend the sacrilegious pig again, huh? Yep. Would you please stop dreaming about hogs while sleeping with me? <laughs> but I'm hog wild about you, dear. Something new about the coin? No. I think the events in my dream all happened before everything related to the coin and the transmutation. Are you gonna take a shower? Nope. Took one last night before bed. Good. Cause I need to use the shower again. Is Boris coming to work today? Yeah, at noon. 
You told him to clean the van before he comes. Oops, forgot. You think you're the only one who can have amnesia? <laughs> That's not fair. Again?
So the meeting with the New Zealander guys is tomorrow, isn't it? No, I canceled it. What are you talking about? I thought client relations was my job, huh? Weasel discovered they're crooks. They pass off items made for fantasy films as antiques. Well, I guess Weasel didn't do anything too crazy to find that out about the Kiwi guys. Madness is a legal term, John. You're telling me she did something illegal? Absolutely not. I never give a friend away. So maybe these Kiwis were selling things from movies based on this trilogy? Of course not. The crappiest prop from one of those films is more valuable than most antiques. No, they sell items from way cheaper films. These days, everybody who wants to shoot a crappy fantasy film goes to New Zealand. I told you that they never came to get the Phoenix and the other pieces, didn't I? No, what happened? We need the money. I don't know what happened. They phoned and said they'll come as of tomorrow. My name is John Yesterday. Yours too.
Happy birthday, boss! Boris, today's not my birthday. Come down quick! I'm double parked. Come on! I gotta tell you something. You're never going to believe it. Okay, you convince me. Thanks, John. I'll take pictures of the sculpture and look for its documents. And me? John, you Google that collector just in case. Victoria Baxter, right? Yes, and me? Maybe we could give her a little gift to make a good impression. Well, as long as you take care of it. And me? You'll come to Baxter's house with me. If what you say is true and tomorrow, She's leaving on a trip. We must be quick. But now park that van. You're breaking the law. Yeah, no more tickets, Boris. Happy birthday. <laughs>